I got some platinum coins. And let's drop the nuke on him. Oh my. Little cutscene. Yo. Oh, damn. What the? <laughs> that is sick as hell. We got a little laser attack. I love him moving around. That's so dope. Yes, sir. It's about to go down. Hey, Orville. Welcome back to another Terraria video. What the heck? Where are these rabbits coming from? What's going on? But yes, we are here with the mod of redemption another mod that i believe is an underrated gem this one might be a little bit well known than the last two we checked out because this mod was a part of the official team mod loader trailer and i love the gameplay that they showed in the trailer it made it look really really cool because the mod is really really cool you know what else is really really cool today's sponsor today's video is sponsored by opera gx opera gx is the world's first gaming browser in the market and i don't know about you guys but when i'm playing games i love to have open a twitch stream a youtube video or some music while i'm playing and thanks to opera gx i can have a bunch of tabs open without having to worry about lag or fps drops while i'm gaming you can literally control the amount of cpu and ram the browser can use not only that but you can also limit the amount of network bandwidth used by the browser to gain better performance in games and streams another amazing feature opera gx offers is a social media sidebar as a content creator i am constantly switching back and forth between all kinds of social media and thanks to the opera gx browser i can easily access all of my social medias in one convenient spot the sidebar also has access to all your favorite music streaming platforms so you can easily play your favorite music while you're gaming and browsing did you guys also know that opera gx is available on mobile phones plus it can be connected to the desktop version if you're the type to play games while watching videos and streams you need to get your hands on this browser today so what are y'all waiting for use my link in the description or comment section to get opera gx for free today now let's get back to the video and today we are checking out the 0.8 beta update keep in mind this is a beta not a full content update because they're just giving us a little taste with this beta because they're trying to drop the whole update for full 1.14 mod loader once that comes out in the year 2080 so that's why it's just like a little taste you know it's not everything but either way it updated and i'm hyped to see what we got here so let's get into this video we're starting with the weapons of course of course come on if it's a mod showcase video we got to start with the weapons so we got a what four weapons from each class here plus some weapons from the druid class now i believe there's a whole new class that is coming to this mod i think it's called the ritual class i don't think it's out yet where are these rabbits coming from but uh let's get into it we got some melee weapons here let's start with this one mysterious artifact seems to have some weird carvings in it looks like an alien alphabet only usable after plantera has been defeated and look you can see right here mod redemption beta not the full 0.8 update you silly sausages perfect tells you exactly what it is when you download it all right let's see what this weapon does let's see it in action here okay feels like a lot of boomerangs let's let's put it in action these weapons do do a good bit of damage so uh, i do need to bring out something fairly hefty let's bring out dr manfly and let's beat his ass bam he could not withstand the knockback that boy was getting blasted all right on to the next the cursed thorn tendril shoots out a cursed tendril where the hell are these bunnies coming from is there a statue up here or are they just spawning here because you know it thinks it's a town i'm assuming it's because it thinks this area is a town i guess because i did sleep in this bed you know i wanted to set my spawn down here maybe if i just take my spawn off all right let's test this out though shoots out a cursed tendril let's see it in action boom it's shooting out cursed tendrils this is really cool i like how it looks it's like a flail sort of weapon reminds me of the uh what the hell is that weapon called the one that no one ever uses the chain guillotine that's what it reminds me of all right let's bring in the possessed here and let's beat its ass damn i think there's a lot of damage and also look it shoots like what is that stingers and stuff like needles and stuff very very cool on to the next tesla blade and i ain't talking about elon musk hold up maybe I don't know. I don't know. Shoots out three hollow blades. Let's see it in action here. So yeah, they're shooting out three just straight up blades and then they explode and they shoot like, I'd assume it'd be like a plus sign if it didn't hit something. Let's see it in action here. Let's bring in some more man flies. Oh, I like that. Damn. Look how fast we got that toxic flask. Let's see it again. Oh, one more time. Let's get a, let's get like a horde going here. Go ahead. Open the door. Let him out. Beautiful. Great crowd control. All right, and last for our melee weapon, Slayer's Rocket Fist. For when you want to slap someone from afar. Those homing rocket fists at enemies. All right, let's see it in action. These home, which is really cool. So let me slap, let me slap a bitch from far away. Let me, let me get a good distance here and let me see him, let me see him home in here. Not bad homing. They, they kind of do miss here and there. That's usually how some homing weapons are in Terraria. You know, they either got like crazy homing or they got a little light homing. But this isn't bad. I could fish things from far away. 
I don't know about that one. All right, next up, we got the range weapons. Let's start with this one. Steam Cog Minigun. Replaces normal bullets with high velocity bullets. Let's see it in action. Ooh, I love that noise. That is one of the Terrarian noises that I love. Let's see it in action here. Let, let's bring out a Mimic. Yeah, why not? Why not? Let me just start blasting. I don't think we're going to kill it, but it's all good. We can just start blasting. I always love miniguns in Terraria. I like guns in general in Terraria. I wish there was uh, just like an actual AK-47 in Terraria. I feel like it would match. You know, we have a Uzi. We got a flintlock. We got a shotgun. You know, why not an AK-47? All right, let's move on to the Corium launcher. Shoots radiating Corium, then inflicts radiation poisoning. Let's see it in action here. That did a lot of damage honestly insane how much damage that did let's bring in another one let's bring in a jungle mimic look at that oh my god uh there is a feature in this mod that is like radiation and radiation poisoning very cool little mini feature not much to really read about it though there's ways to counteract it obviously but still a cool little feature all right let's get into this swarmer cannon fires a barrage of swarmer growths that explode onto enemies let's bring in another mimic you know might as well mimics got good health so you know you might as well test strong weapons on them uh this is one of those weapons that makes burping noises beautiful i wonder how they made that burping noise is that like a that doesn't sound like a human uh that's, that definitely sounds artificially made at least i hope it's not a human next up we got scientific railgun uh it uses coins for ammo higher value coins do more damage particular and specific where the fuck did this dude come from let's bring out some man flies here and let's see this railgun in action i got some platinum coins Oh my god. <laughs> I, I did not expect that. Pretty sick. All right, what if I use like a silver? Coin? Okay, so the animation is still the same no matter what. Like this thing literally shakes the whole entire area. Like look at this. I want to kill that salamander. Got his ass. All right, on to the mage weapons. Let's get to it. We got the Tesla coil staff. Focuses a Tesla beam. Let's see it in action here. Ooh. Look at that. All right, very similar to the last prism. Let's see it in action. Bring in a mimic. Yeah, yeah, go ahead and deflect this. I want to see a mimic deflect a Tesla beam. It's not happening, plain and simple. On to the next, Chikronomicon. Some a bone chicken that runs like a headless chicken. My favorite. Ooh. <laughs> you get summoned in a lot of them. All right, let's bring in, let's bring in some psychos here. And let's send the chickens out. Oh, beautiful. Let's bring it. Let's bring in some nail heads. Let's get some really tanky enemies in here. But they can't take on the chickens, man. The chickens are just too strong for them. We got the cosmic chain. Sends out a chain of the cosmos to stop enemies in their tracks. Doesn't freeze bosses. Uh, what's an enemy that runs around a lot? I need something that runs around, but I don't want to kill it. There we go. Okay. So obviously the possessed, they move around a lot, but the chain said not. Nah. Pause right there, bro. You're not moving. Let me see a moth run. See if we can hit moth. Hello, Mothra. <laughs> Try it again. Okay. Try it again. Okay. Try it again. All right. On to the next weapon. We got the P2 Warhead Receiver. Tactical nuke incoming. Calls a plutonium nuke from the sky. Doesn't destroy tiles. Let's see it in action. I'm very interested here. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Let's bring in a bunch of enemies here. And let's drop the nuke on them. Oh, my. I'm gonna drop a nuke straight on the nail head a couple times, you know? Might as well. He can survive a nuke, man. This dude is eating nukes. That was like, what, five, six nukes he just ate? Good for him. Next up, we got my favorite class, the summoner class. Summons a little android to fight for you. Android hologram. Let's see it in action. Look at him. Let me go ahead. Let me up my uh, minion slots here. Let's get like five of them. And let's bring in some enemies. Go ahead, boys. Take them out. Plain and simple, they got lasers are shooting, or not really lasers, just like Tesla bullets, I don't know. Whatever the hell androids shoot. So the projectile summons, you love to see it. I don't know what I prefer more. I guess like a hybrid, a projectile, and like physical attack summons. That would be perfect. Best of both worlds, but you know, those guys aren't bad. Next up, we got the Xenium Auto Turf. Fires bullets from your inventory. All right, so let me do this. Let me bring in some chlorified bullets. If you use bullets from my inventory, you know, I might as well bring in the best bullets I can. Let's go ahead. Let's bring out some nail heads here, and let me bring the boys in. How many can I get? Okay, I could get a bunch of them going. And they got the homing bullets. Obviously, if there's crazier bullets from uh, mods, they're just you know luminite bullets aren't bad there's a couple other bullets aren't that bad boom bada bing you got the turrets here to take them out very cool on to the next we got the stone puppet summons a little eagle crest rock pile to fight for you let's bring him in look at him 
I love how they walk. They they got a little dance going on. They got a little choreography going on. Let's see them in action bringing the butcher. Oh, they shoot stuff. I expected them to start like kicking things, but they said, hell no, nah, we shooting. On to the next Star Serpent's Collar. Some say baby Star Serpent to fight for you. I believe this one is like the uh, Stardust Dragon. Whoa, that boy long as hell already. I think he actually summons in with your max summon, so you don't have to like summon in every piece. Very nice, very cool. If you could catch a glimpse of him when he runs around all the time uh let's bring in a mimic let's see him fight a mimic right here take on that mimic oh he doing little little zigzags on him yeah i think he definitely looks cooler than the uh, stardust dragon i like the little colorway the pink with the gold yellow moving on to the druid stuff here uh, i do have a video going over a couple more of the druid things aka that video where uh where we checked out a bunch of other monetary classes and also i had a druid playthrough going on which i may or may not continue we'll see because you know they're talking about an update and stuff we'll see we'll see all right let's see this in action here there's obviously a couple of subclasses in the druid class itself we're gonna start with this one the seed bag i grabbed like the strong this might be legit legit the strongest seed bag i don't know i never got to the point but let's see it boom star fruit seed bag oh my god they got blasted let's bring in some mimics let me send them in oh my god that's some good damage all right next up the squidlin stave aka another subclass got a lot of staves this one special ability swift cast slash phantasmal flames Stave swing a lot faster staves cast will ignite targets while with defense reducing phantasmal flames shoots phantasmal mines at the curse's location that explode upon hitting enemy let's see it. so these will explode if there's an enemy cool got it let's bring in a mimic and i'm gonna right click here to bring out the the little guardian and let's see it in action just a whole lot of chaos going down a lot of damage being outputted you love to see it if i do continue the druid class that that might be a must-have weapon all right next up we got the cries of grief releases cries of grief that have a chance to deal double damage gets buff from spirit related armory again another subclass the spirit subclass pretty much uh, and there's actually an armor set we can wear here that increases our spirit level so i'm gonna put this spirit level class on and uh you know we should see stronger effects and then if i take it off it still looks the same but we, we do more damage there you go as you can see it in action go ahead blast through a couple enemies let's bring out another mimic just to see the damage beautiful and last but not least, we got mitosis. Those a petri dish filled with bacteria. Mmm, delicious. This thing shoots out a lot of projectiles, which is beautiful. Just like blasting people with bacteria. We're gonna start a whole new disease up in this bitch. All right, there you go, mimic dead. A lot of beautiful squishy noises playing in my ear. I love it. Yeah, there you go. There was the weapons. Let's get to the armor. I guess might as well since I'm already wearing it. Look at this. Look at this armor. This is the shade head armor or just shade armor. Very cool. You can read through all that. Uh, reminds me of the Soulless. Is that what they're called? The Soulless from Kingdom Hearts. Very cool armor set. I love it. Very unique too. Like it's definitely different. And then let's put in some other armor sets. Look at this. Damn, I'm a gladiator. I'm about to go to work in the arena or the Coliseum. Yeah, this is the ancient brass stuff. Very cool looking. I think I'm actually wearing the wrong pants. <laughs> yeah, I don't think the pants matches the rest of the armor set. Don't worry about that. Uh, let's put on this the gearus overseer stuff or just gearus i guess this armor set looks cool reminds me of some like fallout power armor and then here you go if you want to read through all this summons a tiny attack hovercopter to shoot at nearby enemies go ahead shoot at him oh my god oh he shoots in little bursts is that what he does yeah he shoots in little bursts okay that's cool next up we got cursed thorn let's put this stuff on again all these sprites look sick no complaint on sprites at all really liking the armor set sprites they're dope as hell i love when armor sets have like closed helmets like this because like let's be honest closed armor set helmets look way cooler like this doesn't look that cool we can see my face but we put this on damn cool as hell you put this on damn cool as hell it's just it's just factual that closed armor sets look cooler 99 percent of the time and then let's put on this last set here the xenium stuff look like some tom clancy splinter cell shit dope as hell there you go if you want to read through these but yeah there you go obviously there's a lot of cool armors not gonna check out all of them we don't we never check out all of them same thing with weapons you know we just check through some of them and like the ones that i grabbed these are probably some of these aren't even the coolest weapons and then we got this chest right here there's absolutely nothing in here but a mount you know why not why not check out the mount look at this mount amazing 
<laughs> one of the greatest mounts I've ever seen. All right, so let's go over the biomes. I do have to actually kill some bosses to get some biomes to spawn in, I believe. Yeah, with this 0 0.8 beta update, we are here chilling in an ancient hut sort of area, ancient town. I, I would say this is like an ancient town, and there's a lot of them scattered around, as you can see, the little brown areas on the map. And also, there's like little ones like this. These are the ones I would consider an ancient hut, because, you know, they're really tiny. Like, they literally are just a hut instead of like a town like this one all right there's also the abandoned lab i think we'll go over this later but i mean i might as well check it out now we might it might be loud okay get, get ready you see what i mean <laughs> it might get a little louder uh you know i'll just i'll just turn the i'll just turn the volume down for now okay we're not supposed to be here yet until i kill a certain amount of bosses but the music is bumping it looks cool this is probably up there with one of my favorite biomes next to like the aquatic depths in the abyss because this is just so dope and unique of an idea again reminds me of starbound because you know starbound is a lot more future and technical i'm pretty sure they have like similar stuff exactly like this but yeah it's a sick area there's a lot of cool stuff here uh there's bosses and stuff here that we're supposed to fight like look at this thing uh, we'll, we'll check it out more later, okay? Because, like I said, there's a couple things we gotta do first. Look at it, the slime is bouncy in here too. Nice. There's a couple things we gotta do before we check this area fully out. I'm gonna get out of there because it's loud. All right, the next thing we wanna find is called the Hall of Heroes. Boom, down here. What's up? Oh, it's dark. Boom, the Hall of Heroes. It's pretty much exactly what it's called hall of heroes these are past heroes in the lore of the mod very cool they all look dope as hell i love lore and mods and the lore is actually like really cool and not like corny if you know what i mean you know what i mean <laughs> yeah cool place i like it all right next up we're over here at i believe the crash ship very cool it's just a giant spaceship that crashed uh this is supposed to be the spaceship of kingslayer is that his name let's pull up the bosses really quick probably one of the cooler looking bosses in my opinion is kingslayer yeah there you go i believe he sits in his chair and you like get quests and stuff from him yeah a cool area I love how like there's you know stuff like this that's always moving and honestly any furniture that has an animation is always a plus all right but one more area to check out it is called the wasteland and i have to kill a boss to get it started because obviously it's not here <laughs> all right i have turned the biome into a wasteland uh i might have used bombs to do it don't worry but yeah we're here place is sick i like it you know i'm a big fallout fan uh when bethesda actually releases fallout games good ones <laughs> But yeah we're here it's cool i like it it's a dope area there's a lot of cool monsters that spawn in it uh none of them are spawning right now maybe because i froze time music is bumping too it might be a little bit louder than me but it's bumping so it's fine as long as it's bumping no i have no problem with the music being louder than me but here we go we got a bunch of enemies that can spawn here world feeders infected snowflakes ew infected swarmer disgusting hazmat skeletons like a lot of cool infected enemies can spawn here but yeah let's move on to the bosses let me get the hell out of here let's get moving on to the bosses we got a lot to check out obviously we're not gonna check out every single one but we're gonna check out a good bit of them all right let's start with the pre-hard mode bosses my favorite one the mighty king chicken look at him he's so mighty now he's dead all right let's move on to the next one thorn bane of the forest this one look at him go wow and i'm gonna lie he's a cool boss but uh i said this before in the past when i fought him i think in the series like look at his sprite bro you cannot tell what the hell is going on with this sprite if i put this sprite in a thumbnail would you know what i'd be fighting absolutely not <laughs> let's do some damage to him he's gonna get a little bit more wild with his attacks music is bumping yet again but let me go ahead let me take him out i think i've seen enough now i do actually believe you fight a stronger version later and that's what this is i think may not be correct on that on to the next though we got the keeper keeper cool boss look at it looks cool chick man cultist get out of here let's see some of the attacks i am fighting it during daytime i don't think you're supposed to be fighting it during daytime let me do a little damage oh damn look at that i love when Terrier mods use the camera either to like shake the camera move the camera you know lock on like a cutscene like that sick as hell i love it makes the game feel like i don't know higher quality but yeah cool boss let's go ahead let's take it out again another little cutscene here beautiful all right next up we got the seed of infection this boss killing this boss starts off the whole like infection slash mutation quest line which is a cool idea 
This sounds like Mario music when you first enter the castle. But yeah, let's see some of his attacks here. Cool. He's spitting nasty stuff at us. Disgusting. Do a little bit more damage if he has any new attacks. Oh, a little laser beam he tried to drop on us right there. But yeah, let's go ahead and kill him. Watch him spin around a little bit. Look at him. Look at him go. Awesome. Cool death animation. A lot of cool death animations. That, I believe, was all the pre-hard mode bosses. Now, there is a lot of uh, mini bosses in this. We'll go after those when we're done showing off all the bosses I want to show off. But yes, moving on to the hard mode bosses. Let's start with the homie here. Let's start with the homie, the Kingslayer. I don't know if I have to be over here to fight him or not. I should actually probably kill some pre-hard mode, or not pre-hard mode bosses, some uh, vanilla bosses. Let me do that. Let us bring in the Kingslayer. Welcome. Oh, let's see how he comes in. Okay, he's got the little scanner drones. They're checking me out. Target unimportant. I've never felt so disrespected in my life before. All right, there you go. Did you just seriously destroy my drones? Hell yeah, fuck your drones. He's got a little dialogue. And not like I got a shortage of them, but I'm still going to blast you for it. Actually, you were the one that fought the keeper, weren't you? That was my job. Great. Now I have, an ev now I have even more reason to pummel you to ashes. Is that what that said? I don't know. I wasn't reading that fast. All right, but let's see the fight, though. I have not seen this fight myself. And so far, it looks cool. Music bumping, as always. Oh, do a flashbang at me? Let's go ahead. Let's do some damage here. Not too much. There you go. Got a little dialogue. What a nuisance. You petty projectiles are going through my auto shield. Might as well blow you to pieces with a few missiles. Hold on. I'm going to turn down the music, bro. Music's bumping, but a little loud. He brings in some drones. Okay, what if I kill the drones? Oh, they're already gone. Do another flashbang at me. All right, let's do some damage. You pack more of a punch than I thought for such a small flesh bag. I might even have to take you seriously. Pa! What a joke. Who the fuck says pa? Go ahead, shoot me if you can. What the fuck I said pa? All right, what are these things? Can I break these things? I'm going to break those things. Oh, I broke one of them. Do a little bit more damage. Okay, his health is gray now. Can I still do damage? Yes, I can. All right, all right, all right. We'll call it a draw then. Damn, this dude's a pussy. He knew I was beating his ass. I'm too tired to get mad about this nonsense. If you stop attacking, I'll go back to important business. But if you choose, we can continue. But I won't be happy if I lose. Nah, we'll, we'll let him. We homies, we homies. I'll give it to you. I was busting your ass. I'll give it to you though. Tie it is then. Now don't distract me again. Adios, dingus. Oh, now I want to run the fade. I would never let somebody call me a dingus. All right, but I believe now he goes to his ship. Yep, look, there he is. And then you can talk to him, do quests for him and stuff. Cool. Cool. All right, so our next three bosses are a part of a little group here called the Vlitch Overlords, I believe. Let's take on the first one, which I think is the uh, Vlitch Cleaver. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. It might be Vlitch. Let's get to it, though. Let's get to it. I got to use this at night. Wielder bot has awoken. Oh! My boy got that cleaver on him. Hold up. Let me turn up the brightness a little bit. All right. Let's get to it. Cool little sword flying around. I love the health bars in this mod. Let's go ahead. Let's do some damage. He does have a little like circle flying around us. Now, what am I supposed to damage? The cleaver itself or the bot? What if I damage the bot? What if I kill the bot? What happens? Okay. Bot is dead. That's it? Are we supposed to do that? <laughs> All right. Let me see what happens if I kill the cleaver. Go ahead, let's do some damage to the cleaver. Do we get some new attacks? Did you look at that? An overlord unit has been taken down. Who's talking, bro? I'm in the middle of a fight. Whoa. Sick attack. I like that. What a shame that one was almost useful. Bro, it's just a giant flying sword. How useful can a giant sword be? All right. As you see, we're getting a lot more attacks. Now, that's a sick attack right there. It's more interesting of a fight when I do damage to the cleaver. Maybe we're not even supposed to do damage to the weird about. I don't know. I haven't fought it. But yeah, seems like a cool fight. Let's go ahead. Let's take it out. And this time we get to see the wielder bot do something. He said, nah. Yes, I would say the same thing. All right, let's move on to the other one. Or the next uh, overlord. The Vlitch Gigapede. Let's see him. Oh, worm boss deploying core. Okay, so what do I do damage to? The core, I'm assuming. So let's do a little damage to that core. See what happens. Any new attacks? What's popping? These little drones right here look like miniature Supreme Cows. Alright, I guess not Supreme Cow anymore, just regular cow. Attacks are coming out a little bit faster. Let's do a little bit more damage here. So far, the fight doesn't seem that bad, but I am in God mode, so I don't think too many fights would seem that bad. I'm gonna go ahead, just, you know, kill it, and now we get to the real fight. Yes, sir. Okay, I'm tired of the probe shooting. Uh, enough of that. You guys are louder than everything else here. 
louder than the music. All right, there you go. I did some more damage. She deploys another core. Cool, cool. Go ahead, kill that core. Do some more damage. I may have miscalculated. Deploys another core. Okay. And then let's just go ahead and take it out. Nice little scream there. Oh my god, these pros are loud as shit. Nothing to say? I don't think they got anything to say about me killing that one. And then let's move on to the final overlord. The final overlord is a post moon lord boss. I think the rest of the bosses in this mod are post moon lord. So uh, I gotta go kill the moon lord real quick. All right, so our first post moon lord boss, we're gonna go over here. The Omega Obliterator. Let's check it out. Bring the boy in. What's up? Oh, little cutscene. Yo. Oh, dang it. What the? <laughs> You cannot be starting a fight like that, bro. So much for a surprise attack. Hang on, I got a call from Gears. I wasted too much energy too quickly. I'm an idiot. You're scrapping my personality job. Rebooting systems generating barrier. All right, let's get to the actual fight here. Prepare for obliteration. All right, so we got the, the little ring around us, which uh, seems a lot of modern bosses have like a ring that you can't escape. I like it, honestly. The attacks so far look really cool. I like them. Let's do a little damage to them. Maybe get him to that half health section. Oh, here it goes with the laser again. Oh, wait, it's not a big laser beam, a little tiny one. I wonder how much damage that like giant laser beam he summoned at the beginning does. Like, I bet that thing one hits you if you're not gospel. Yeah, let's do a little bit more damage. Let's see, does he have a new phase or something? The attacks are definitely getting crazier. They definitely feel like they're coming in more. We got more lasers. Okay, no big one. He said, I can't use that big one anymore. I'm gonna run out of energy. All right, but this fight seems sick as hell. Definitely probably my favorite out of the three. System overload. What's he about to do? He's about to explode. Phase two. I think he's dead. He's overheating. Oh, he got a phase two? A little extra, little extra shit you gotta dodge here? Maybe all you gotta do is dodge it and then it's over. He's going crazy though. Oh, he did the big laser. Oh my. Critical condition reached. He says something else there. Yeah, if you do that big ass laser, I'm assuming you about to you about to fry out. But yeah, definitely my favorite out of the three Overlord fights. Oh, we got somebody talking to us again. So I want to take on Patient Zero here. He is in this room right here in this lab or one of these rooms. Yeah, I think it is that one. But here's a question: Can I fight him even though I definitely did not fight the other bosses in this? Because there's a couple mini bosses I think we're supposed to take on in this whole area. Let's see. We're about to see. I'm about to right click on this. Let's see. Okay, it does seem like we gotta take out the other bosses first. So, let's go over some mini bosses then. Because Patient Zero, he's gonna be the last uh, boss I check out in this mod. Let's go over some mini bosses. We got some boys to go over here. Let me just, you know, get through all this uh, sludge and shit. Because I believe the first mini boss we are supposed to take on in here is the, uh, what the fuck is his name? <laughs> the janitor. Oh, look, there he is over there. All right, let's go ahead. Let's say what's up to him. Oi, don't go there. That floor is wet. Bro, I do not care. And boom, just like that, he wants to run the fade. It's fine with me. It's, it's fine with me. I'll run the fade. I don't care. Janitor, postman, trash collector. I don't care. I'll run the fade if they want to. All right, he's going to try and talk to us. Where, yeah, where are you getting all those mops from? Bro, I don't care. Just kill him. Do some damage. I think I did actually fight this guy in the uh, Modern Redemption Druid series that I did uh, part of. So let's just let's just do some damage to him. See if he does anything crazy. He's over here swearing. All this jumping about is making me tired. Bro, you're a janitor, so it makes sense, honestly. Let's take him out. He's doing a little moonwalk. Oh, he's opening the door. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I thought you was hitting that mean moonwalk. All right, peace out, bro. <laughs> Back to work for him. Okay, and then I think I use this boom. Doors are now open. Beautiful. And then we go and find the next boss here, I believe. There's supposed to be a monitor we right click on or something like that in this area. And then we fight the next boss. Is this the monitor? Nope, it's not that one. This has to be the monitor right here. Yes, sir. Okay. So this is the stage three infected scientist. So let's see what type of little attacks he got here. And then do a little damage to him. See if he brings out some more attacks. Seems like he gets a little bit faster. Okay, okay. I think we've seen enough here, though. We're, we're after a bigger boss, so we don't, we don't gotta sit through all of it. All right, let's open up the next section. Beautiful. All right, so now we gotta find another monitor. I found it. This was the last place I honestly expected to find it. it was this small room, but let's check it out. So it looks like it's like a vertical wall of flesh, which sounds cool as hell. Honestly, a dope idea. I love how he looks, too. Look at his big ass bubbly eyes. <laughs> Alright, let's do some damage to him. I'm assuming we can do damage anywhere. Gotta be a little careful because uh, I kind of move him. But yeah, I'm assuming you gotta kill him before he hits the bottom or he just like crushes you. Which I've always had that as an idea in my head. 
for Terraria. I've had the idea of like a hellhole boss. Like a boss that starts at the top of the hellhole. <laughs> And you gotta kill it by the time you hit the bottom. And if you don't kill it by the time you hit the bottom, there's like a giant like mouth that eats you. <laughs> I've always had that in my head as an idea for a boss. I see the janitor chilling, doing his job. I'm not gonna bother him. All right, I found the next boss, Blister Face. Oh, we got a little fish, a little fish mini boss. Pretty sick. Reminds me of those, uh, what was it, Half-Life 1? Those like big ass fish. Those things are terrifying. But yeah. Cool attack, he's shooting out little blistering, shooting out little bubbles everywhere. He's got bubbles coming out of the water. Do a little damage to him. See if he changes it up a little bit. Oh, where'd he go? <laughs> See, is he glitching out? Is he supposed to go down there? Maybe he is, maybe he isn't. Hold up, where the hell are you going? Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> Wherever he was going, I'm going to I'm have to stop him. Boom. We opened up even more doors. Let us continue on here. Look at that. Protector Volt. What's up? Leave. Hell no. We got to prove our strength to him. Damn. Imagine if I wasn't in God mode. He just drops us in some electric just like that. This is a pretty, like, big area to fight in. I wonder if, like, the size of the world affects how big of the or how big the lab or the arenas are in the lab i don't think it does but yeah cool fight like a robot or something i don't know what the hell he is let's do some damage to him see if he got some new attacks i like that little attack right there that looks hard to dodge dude he's also got a nice little laser with him let's go ahead let's take him out he's gonna let us through right come on i, I beat his ass like that seems to be the only way to talk to people is beating their ass exactly my apologies move along exactly all right i think now finally we should be able to fight this one right there we go mace project already a cool attack right off the start so there's a crane operator up here does it like move around or what that's really what i want to see let's do some damage maybe uh if we do some damage it'll move around i'm kind of messing its face up I'm kind of moving the crane it myself too. <laughs> okay, might have messed this fight up a little bit by uh, using the tumble manipulation. It's all good. It's all good. Let's just kill him. Oh, there's a face too. We broke his jaw. Literally broke his jaw. Oh, now he's starting to move around. Oh, that's sick as hell. That is sick as hell. We got a little laser attack. I love him moving around. That's so dope. Creativity at its finest. Let's kill it though. Damn, he said run the hands. All right. Say less. I'll run the hands. I'll kill the hands, and then I'll kill you. There we go, and then it's there again if you want to rematch it, of course. Crane operator, gone. He said, I'm out. All right, but doing all that, I think that's finally every single boss. And now, we can fight Patient Zero. So let's see it. Oh, some came up for a second. I think the fight did start. Oh, yes, sir yes sir it's about to go down this definitely reminds me of like a contra boss i feel like a lot of terraria bosses whether it's modded or not give me like contra vibes i guess just the perspective contra is played in most of the contra games are played in but yeah dope attack so far do we kill these things these growths damn they got a lot of health this is a post moon lord boss so like by this time your damage should be hitting pretty hard maybe i should use like a real weapon use a real weapon here Okay, that is not a lot of damage. <laughs> okay, there you go. We did some damage to him. We have a name popping up, Kari. Now, I actually do believe there's a really cool uh, backstory behind Patient Zero. Something about, like, the creator of all the T-Bots in the mod. And, and then he became the first patient. for like He's been here for, like, 2,000 years. Something like that. Read through the lore very briefly. So now, if you guys can even see, it's kind of it's getting a little dark in here. We're getting hit with a little uh, debuffs and stuff. But like, Kari popped out of him and we did damage to Kari rather than doing damage to like the middle. Let's do damage to the middle, boom, Kari pops out, we do damage to Kari. Goes back to the eye, and then back to Kari, and then it's like back and forth. Music is definitely bumping. I am like so irradiated and sick, I can barely move. We should probably get this fight over with. Nice and quiet now. Oh, there we go, boss is dead. Can, can I move now? <laughs> or am I irradiated forever? Where did my helmet go? I'm so irradiated my helmet came off. Hair loss? But yeah, that was the Patient Zero boss. You can rematch it by clicking on the bed again. I'm getting the hell out of here. We're, we're, we're getting infected. This shit is getting bad, bro. <laughs> I, I, need to, I need to pop some pills. I need something to help. But yeah, that is all I'm going over with in this mod. This is going to be a long video. I feel like I've been recording it forever. It's a great mod. Check it out. There's still so much content I didn't even cover. There's a bunch of more bosses, a bunch of more mini bosses. The NPCs in it are cool. There's quests. There's
is so much stuff to it, man. I want you guys to check it out yourself. If you can't check it out yourself, then I don't know. Go watch someone's playthrough. I did do a Druid class playthrough up to like hard mode. A couple bosses in hard mode. I think Chippy's done a full playthrough. There's probably a couple other people have done a full playthrough. But yeah, like I said, this was the 0.8 beta. Full update. The full 0.8 update is going to be coming out for Team Model Letter 1.4. Once that officially comes out again in the year 2080. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys are having a happy holidays right now. I'll see y'all next time.